Hey guys, so Project LS, another little video here. So as you can see, the turbo is in, but maybe I can show you from this angle. It's gonna be sticking out of the hood a little bit. So uh, there you go. So you can kind of see it, a couple inches. So I did that on purpose because I wanted to have it as high as possible uh, to get rid of heat. And I don't want the engine bay to get that hot. So I put it high knowing that I was, I was gonna cut a section out of the hood and have like a little scoop there to uh, basically ram cold air into the uh, turbo. So that actually gives us more power. So uh, as you can see here, let's see. I've made a little template where I'm gonna cut. So it's just a piece of uh, foam core board, I guess. And uh, went around with a uh, Sharpie, the black that you see there. So I'll remove that, the procedure. So we're just gonna, and then I'm gonna drill four small holes. And then basically, just use my hole saw here kind of in the corners. So I'll put a cut here, one here, maybe one over here. And of course, down there, and again over here. And then we'll just use a, our zip cut and just cut it straight. And then we'll use the uh, the flapper to uh, radius everything and makes it make it nice and round and smooth. So that's, uh, that's the procedure I'm gonna use. So I just basically tonight, I just Kind of did this template, kind of did a little bit of measuring. Sorry that the radio's on, but uh, maybe I'll shoot the scene again. Did a little bit of measuring, so to see where it lies, and uh, so everything clears. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, it's a factory hood. I know a lot of guys are going to tell me, don't cut a factory hood, but whatever. It's uh, kind of a budget project, so we'll make do with what we have, and we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so that's what it looks like when I removed the uh, the foam core here. So yeah, so we'll just use our small pilot eighth inch drill and then we'll uh, follow up with our uh, ball saw right here and then uh, see how that works. So I'll just put those uh, little pilot holes with my eighth inch drill right now. Hey guys, hopefully you can see this. So here's the pilot holes. Kind of on a radius is there. We'll just make, because it's hard to cut a curve with a straight uh, zip cut. Uh, cut those out first and see how it goes. I'll shoot another scene when I've, when I've done that. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we've used our hole saw. Kind of looks kind of sloppy, but uh, like I said, it's just we're just gonna use our zip cut now wheel and just cut straight and then we'll clean everything up with the uh, with our uh, hand uh, grinder or our uh, flapper wheel. See how it goes. But anyways, I just wanted to get that done. Now we can just cut straight and see what happens. And I'll show you the back when I uh, finish cutting this. So we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, so not the prettiest. So I went kind of from both sides, as you can see here. So this thing's ready to come out. And I had to cut through some of the structure here, but I left most of the structure intact. And that portion right there is where the uh, the hood uh, bumper goes. So each corner, so that's still intact and solid. So you want to leave that there. So because the, this rests on the hood bumper right here. So that's still there. This one's on this side. So. Yeah, we've got, uh, again, we've got the hinges down here and then we got four points, so that'll still be nice and strong and solid. And again, we've left most of the structure here on the outside of the hood. That's what gives it the strength. As you can see here, there's the other pocket for the other bumper. So, so yeah, so I did it from both sides. So it's kind of a, not that pretty looking, but uh, I think it got the job done. Hang on, Let's see if I can get this fucker out of here. Let me turn let me turn this hood around hang on i don't know if i can keep uh, filming hopefully you guys can see this so kind of a messy job but uh could have got it i should have probably just got a water jet or la laser cut with it. brought it to the plasma guy but again i don't really care
Seriously, I got one little fucking sliver of metal left that's holding the fucking thing on here. So there it is guys, so there's the piece. So now we'll clean this up and uh, yeah, it should still be good, it'll be fine. Looks like shit, but uh, again, we've still got most of the structure in here, we'll just clean all this shit up. And uh, yeah, here's the piece, kind of looks really rough now, but I'll show you again when I'm finished how it's gonna look. So, and hopefully it fits. <laughs> okay guys, so it looks like uh, that's the cutout for the uh, turbo. So, not bad. So it looked like shit before, as you can see. A little bit of a job. So we cut that piece out there using a hole saw and some pilot drills. Then we cleaned it up with our flapper wheel and our, our little air grinder down there. And of course our file and some steel wool. We cleaned up all the sharp edges. So, yeah, not bad. I think it'll work. Hopefully it's on the right side. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, no, it's on the right side. Because that's the passenger side. Yeah, so. Just making sure of that. So yeah, so we'll see how I'll do final uh, clearancing if necessary once we fit it on the car. Okay guys, Project Turbo LS. So I've got the hood on and as you can see, I had to cut a lot of clearance uh, to clear everything here. Had to uh, shave off a couple of uh, bosses here. That one, I, I basically cut this off and then uh, flapper wheeled it flat. Uh, ground down my uh, throttle bracket a little bit because it was I think touching. Also, I had to lower my uh, fuel pressure regulator. So I took that off, welded a little tab on there and then moved it down about a uh, half inch. So now, and I put paint marker there so I could see where it touched and it actually touched up there. So now it's not touching anymore. So nothing is uh, interfering. And again, trial and error guys. So this is the procedure. So as you can see here, I cut a lot of the structure out where it was interfering. It was, it was touching here on the throttle body. Uh, and of course, you've got a nice big hole there. That's where we're gonna put our scoop. And I'll shoot another scene when I get that done and on. So it does fit, guys. So that's kind of nice. Uh, again, everything was clearanced, as you can see. The structure was uh, cut away, and we left a lot of the structure there to impart, well, our hood is a lot, uh, it's still pretty stiff, so it's still fine. Uh, there's no stress on this thing, and it's, super, it's a super light hood, so a little bit of weight reduction too, so an added benefit, but again, Guys, as you can see, homemade uh, scoop. Well, it's gonna be. I'm gonna, I'll show you what I'm gonna do after I get it done. So this clears, I will close the hood and I'll show you how it looks. Let me put the camera here. So, hey guys, so you can see here is you wanna be real careful. So again, everything clears, let's get the lights out of here. You can see there, then so I'll, I'll just, uh, there you go. Well, that's it guys. It fits pretty good, it's good enough anyways. I might have to do a little bit of adjustment, but as you can see, everything matches, lines up properly. Uh, we've got a nice hole here. Put a scoop on here so we get high pressure air ram effect into our turbo. So the faster we go, the greater the ram effect. The more boost we can produce, the faster we go. So it's really good. So we'll see how that works. Anyways, guys, so that hood fits, a lot of clearance. Uh, the dents you see there, we're already in there. Like I said, it's a 40 year old hood. So not too worried. But uh, yeah, so the big job here with clearance and cut a nice little hole. Sorry. Got a nice little hole for our scoop. So that's how it looks. So it just, yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty subtle, guys, which I which is what I wanted. So that's what it looks like. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the scoop. I'm gonna use a piece of uh, acrylic clear so we can still see the turbo. 
and uh, we can get air in there at the same time. So it's kind of a different idea. And the acrylic clear, that stuff right there that I'm gonna be using, or that piece over there, this guy here, it uh, melting point is 160 degrees C. So I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it up off the hood a little bit so we have a little bit of space. So you gotta really watch the uh, tur turbine housing because that gets pretty hot. But again, it'll be above a couple inches. So with the air rushing through there, I think it'll be fine. But anyways, uh, I'll shoot another scene when I get that done and put this video together. I have kind of roughed up my uh, air intake or my cold air induction system here using a piece of acrylic clear and some uh, seat channel as you can see. So this is what it looks like here. So kind of a different idea, but uh, I like being different. I still got the uh, film on the uh, on the top. That's why it doesn't look clear, but it will once we take it off. So I'm just working out where the placement's gonna be. And I'm also gonna, I gotta figure out a way to uh, seal up the back. So that's what it looks like. Just use some quarter inch uh, 20 UNC fasteners up here, three to hold the uh, the plate down to the uh, piece of C-channel. And again, this is a two inch piece of C-channel. And that guy over there is a three inch, just to compensate for our difference in hood height here. Actually, it fits pretty good. So that's what it looks like right there, guys. And now I just got to uh, basically figure out, I got to put a tab in there for the back so we can hook up a piece of clear and seal up the back here. So that way we're gonna get the ram air right into the turbo, so it should be pretty good. So I'm gonna put a, weld a couple tabs in there, take this thing apart, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay guys, so uh, this is the scoop from underneath. As you can see, we've got, uh, well, hopefully you can see it. Let me just get the light over here. Okay guys, so as you can see, view from underneath Project Turbo LS, the scoop. So we've got six quarter inch 20 UNC fasteners, three on each side, so it should hold it. Then I've got uh, some washers there. There you've got some washers. Okay guys, so another scene here. So I just made a template to cover the back of our uh, scoop. Just made that out of some uh, foam, foam board, whatever you want to call it. So, so yeah, so uh, I welded those uh, fasteners onto some tabs, as you can see here. So they're welded in there, so we just we don't need to get a wrench on the other side to tighten them. So we're just going to use a couple of uh, quarter inch nuts to hold our hold our piece. So that that's going to go on there. So I'm just going to lay this out on that piece of extra acrylic clear and then we're going to uh, cut it out and then uh, should fit and then we'll seal everything up with some silicone and uh, yeah pretty good so that's the procedure here guys so yeah I welded these tabs in sorry about the bad camera work before but I welded these tabs and I welded a nut to the back of it or not a nut but a, a fastener a bolt so there were therefore we don't need a, uh, a wrench on the other side to tighten this when we put our piece in so uh, so yeah I'll cut that out and then uh, show you how that looks Hey right, guys, hopefully, hopefully you can see this. So here's our piece That we uh, talked about before. So I'm just gonna clean this up A little bit of uh, glass cleaner Before I put it on Hopefully you guys can see this If you can I'll double check After I'm finished. So anyways, yeah, so this is the uh, custom acrylic clear Ram air scoop. A little kind of different, but I like different. So again, we made a template and I just cut this out of the piece of a curl clear I had, five mil thick, about 220 thou. Could be good enough. But anyways, we'll try this. 
That just goes right there like so. Then out of the way. And I welded again, I welded these nuts onto the tabs. We wouldn't need a wrench on the other side. Let's see if it's really good, guys. Might put some silicone here, we'll see. Like a nice little bead of clear silicone to seal it totally, but I don't know, we'll see. Awesome guys, it looks pretty good. So there's that. So of course we'll get the plastic off this piece here. Clean this sucker up. I should have probably cleaned the underneath, but uh, I can still get to it when I raise the hood. There you go. Get this out of here. Again, you to clean the outside now. Yeah, guys, I think it worked out pretty good. Looks good. And I think it'll function really good, too. Like I said, the faster we go, the more the ram effect. And at the same time, we're also cooling down the under engine componentry. Hey guys, so I'll pop this hood up, kind of get the underneath there. Let's probably put some shocks on this thing. Okay, whatever, good enough. Let's do some trimming, we'll go see. Anyways guys, so that's it, pretty good, I like it. It'll be very functional, might have to seal it here with some silicone, but we'll see. Well yeah, it's actually not bad. Hopefully uh, I caught this in the shot here. Maybe I'll take this out, keep rolling. So there it is guys, close up view. Custom acrylic clear scoop, C-channel, three inch, Two inch piece over there. Looks pretty good. The effect I wanted, I think, uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. So we'll get a nice ram effect in here because it's sealed in the back. So the faster we go, the more the ram effect will be. So that'll be really nice. So again, guys, that's what it looks like. Kind of a custom deal here. Probably the amount of money I spent on this whole thing was probably about $150. Uh, the acrylic clear, clear cost me about 60. Two pieces of uh, seed channel, three inch and two inch was about uh, $27. And then of course the fasteners, that was $12. So, you know, so a little bit of money, about 150 bucks. But uh, yeah, pretty good. I think it's different, which I want. It looks functional, it's different. It looks good. And I'll show you what it looks like from inside the car now. When we're driving, it actually looks pretty good because you can see the back of the uh, the turbo. So when we're driving, guys, 
See that? You'll be able to see it. It's right there. That's kind of a kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I think I definitely will put some silicone because from here you can see a little gap between the hood and the bottom of the uh, acrylic clear. Oh yeah, so that's that's what it looks like. So again, guys, there it is from this view. Looks pretty mean. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks pretty good actually. I don't mind that. It's all right. Anyways, guys, I'll put these scenes together for uh, you know hood scoop. Uh, fabrication, custom or homemade, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, guys, that's another edition of uh, Project Turbo LS, another video. Uh, hopefully we can get this thing on the road pretty quick and I'll do another road test and videotape all that. And I've got some uh, 4K glasses I can wear. So whatever I look at, it'll be filming in 4K quality. So better than using my phone here. Anyways, guys, again, here's that's the scoop. Project Turbo LS. And again, guys, uh, thanks for watching.